Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is your anchor, Kekris and your solo. First, the headlines. The Supreme Court has on Thursday reserved its verdict on a batch of pleas challenging the central government's electoral bond scheme, which allows the anonymous funding to political parties. Amid Israel Hamas war, at least 15 soldiers were killed in fighting inside the Gaza Strip on Wednesday. Among 15 soldiers and Indian origin soldier staff, SGD, Halal Solomon was killed in Hamas attack. Opposition parties MPs including TMC MP Mahua Moitra and BSP MP Danish Ali walked out in the midst of Parliament's Ethics Committee meeting in Delhi alleging that the committee was asking personal unethical questions to TMC MP Mahua Moitra. A female student of IIT BHU was allegedly Molested and stripped by three motorcycle born men who also recorded a video of the act on Wednesday night inside the Banaras Hindu University campus. Now for the news in details. The Supreme Court has on Thursday reserved its verdict on a page of pleas challenging the central government's electoral bond scheme which allows the anonymous funding to political parties. It has, however, directed the Election Commission of India to furnish the updated data of the funds received by all the political parties through electoral bonds till September 30. SC asked ECI to give the data in a sealed packet within two weeks. Varun Thakur, a lawyer who challenged the electoral bond scheme in the Supreme Court, said the electoral bond scheme violates the fundamental rights of the citizens. First of all, we have to understand that the scheme of electoral bond was completely the right to know the fundamental rights of the citizens. It was suppressed, it was not kept in mind. उस चीज को हम लोगों ने यहाँ चैलेंज किया था जिसमें आज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेंच ने हेयरिंग कंप्लीट की है और ये माना है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी ऑब्जर्व किया है कि अगर इस स्कीम जाती है तो इसके बाद फर्दर क्या स्टेप रहते हैं और इलेक्शन कमीशन को भी डायरेक्ट किया है ड्यूरिंग स्टेज प्रोटेस्ट ऑन द प्रेम ऑफ बी एच यू आई आई टी इन वाराणसी अगेंस्ट दलेज मोलेस्टेशन ऑफ अ फीमेल स्टूडेंट A shameful incident where a female student was allegedly molested and stripped by motorcycle-born man as she walked with a male friend late Wednesday night on the IIT BHU campus, sending shockwaves through the community. According to a complaint lodged by the female student, three men came there on motorcycle and forcibly took her to a corner and gagged her after separating her from her friend. When she was out with a friend on Wednesday night, the alleged incident happened near the Karman Baba temple. The accused then stripped the women, made a video of her and clicked photos. They let her go after 15 minutes and took her phone number, the complaint stated. An FIR has been registered under section. Despite being a famous Hollywood actress, Israeli actress Gal Gadot has not forgotten her true Israeli identity and her commitment to her country. Recently, she surprised her fans by deciding to return to serving her nation through the Israel Defense Forces or IDF. Gal Gadot is best known for her iconic role as Wonder Woman in DC comic films, but before becoming an international superstar, she was a soldier in the IDF. She served in the army for two years before embarking on her acting career. In a photo posted on James J. Marlowe's ex account, Gal Gadot can be seen in uniform apparently entering the IDF service. She showed her support for her fellow soldiers and her love for her country. Her decision to return to IDF has garnered admiration from Israelis and her fans worldwide. It demonstrates her exemplary commitment to national service and her respect for the training she received in the military. While Gal Gadot is an international celebrity, she does not forget her roots. This shows that no matter that no matter how skilled or renowned we become in our respective fields, we should never forget our origins and our obligations to our nation. Gal Gadot's story is an example of being a role model in national service and fulfilling promises. Being a genuine hero is not just in the movies but in real life as well.
The Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023 Select Committee Convener T.R. Zilian, who is also the Deputy Chief Minister of the State, said the committee intends to delay the Women Chairperson provision from new Municipal Bill 2023. However, 33 person women reservation will be included. Briefing the media persons after the committee meeting at Rhododendron Hall in Shimukidima today, the convener also informed that the land and property tax will be deleted from the new act. To discuss on the NMA 2023, he said the emergency assembly session has been convened on November 9. The convener further said that a meeting with CSOs and HOHOs will be called to take their opinions. The Nagaland Assembly during the 14th session constituted a seven-member select committee headed by Deputy Chief Minister T.R. Zilieng to examine the Nagaland Municipal Bill 2023. Bill TV, it is a rhododendron hall police complex. Chumukidi Maria Hinese, NLA Laga second session, the select committee, Ektage select Kushi, Kun Nagaland Municipal Act 2023, ke examine group, Tange select Kushi. Select committee, Han Aji here a meeting Lushi, meeting picture, a select committee, Laga convener, Kun Nagaland Laga deputy CMBS, TR Zelengbra, press briefing, Ektare media, and address Kushi. Kota Kura Homo, Taipra Janai Dishi, it is 33% reservation, women reservation, though Age Loija, Age Loija, all a plan crisis, which are Kumba Ek, Kumba Ek, Totahan delete Kule, Arukumba Totahan Rakule la plan as a. Holibi to Sobitan, hopefully finalize Kitia Kuruo, Paruo, Kule, tribal hosts, our CSOs can get address Kuria Pichirehi, Tahan Astepra, finalize B Kuribo, our urban local bodies laga elections be Pariatak at the earliest Lobole, Tahan Papna, say Kueginebi, Janai Dishe. Today, meeting of this uh, select committee has been convened to examine. On the issue of this ULB election, uh, 33 percent women reservations. The assembly has been summoned on 9th November. That is an uh, emergency session. So before that, uh, the committee has to the, the committee has to uh, examine and take a decision and submit our recommendation to the assembly so that the amendment of the act nagaland municipal act 2023 can be placed in the assembly and passed by the assembly so that we can have uh, election after the assembly passed the act so with a short notice we convened the meeting we have discussed after consultation with this uh, civil societies tribal tribal hoes we will adopt resolution and prepare our com uh, recommendation to the assembly so for that uh, we have shared our mind that uh, to go ahead with ULB election with 33 percent reservation because the Supreme Court has not passed any judgment so far but if you keep on waiting for the Supreme Court to deliver judgment or if you keep on struggling it will be a loss to the people so state government has decided that uh, we need to go ahead with this uh, ULB election with 33 percent reservation so on this matter we have discussed and we have decided to have a public consultation meet so we are inviting all the tribal leaders to to share our mind and to explain the position of this state government so that we all go together and have ULB election. This is what we have discussed. There are some certain uh, remark given by some civil societies on the issue of this land and property tax which should be deleted from the egg so accordingly uh, we have decided to delete all this land and property tax from the egg and on top of that some section of people mm, uh, went against this uh, provision that uh, will chairperson mm, chairperson should be reserved from women to 
women should represent as chairperson. That provision also. No, that is why we are having consultation. If the public understand to be any problem, for that we are going to convene a meeting. That the state government, this is state cabinet has already decided. But select co committee, the objective of select committee is uh, see whether this Women Reservation Act in Article 371A or not, that we, uh, we have to cross-examine. And uh, on our own violation, we have agreed to go ahead with this election with 33% reservation. Mm. Uh, sir, I think this issue was also addressed in the second session of the assembly where uh, a tribal hopo said they were not co uh, consulted before the bill was introduced. Sir. And I think person Joy Watch for Hornbill TV, Chumukidima. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. cultural and environmental conservation and heritage sites around the world. Welcome back. Opposition parties MPs including TMC MP Mahua Moitra and BSP MP Danish Ali walked out in the midst of Parliament Ethics Committee meeting in Delhi alleging that he committee was asking personal unethical questions to TMC MP Mahua Moitra. Congress member N. Uttam Kumar Reddy said that Ethics Committee chairperson's questions to TMC MP Moitra were undignified and unethical. The Lok Sabha Ethics Committee continued with deliberations after the walkout. TMC MP Mahua Moitra appeared before the Parliament Ethics Committee in connection with the cash for query charge against her. Sir, we are walking out. Sir, sir, walk out. Sir, 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 Yes, in my eyes. I have a question for 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 my for two days, we are asking him some things. This NIC portal issue, where is the parliament rule says, who is the first person? They are not replying. And then he will ask uh, the uh, other lady MP, where are you travelling? Where are you meeting? Where can you give us your phone records? I think we heard very hard Why you are talking? What are you talking? are talking? Can we also ask it, is there any evidence of any cash transfer? You first put that and then you uh, talk all the things. There is no evidence of any cash transfer. Then how does Rishikan Dubey go from a confidential NIC report 
विच ओनली कॉपीज इन द कमिटी हमें बताया गया कि कॉन्फिडेंशियल रिपोर्ट है और निशिकांत अब जो है कल ही ट्वीट कर देते हैं कि इतनी बार लॉ दिल हुआ दिस इज टू मच ये पूरा ये ये पूरा का पूरा जो है एप्लीकेटेड है skin to skin contact or from mother to child Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. A nodal officer of Uttar Pradesh Health Department has been caught taking bribe and video of incident went viral on social media platforms. The officer, Dr. Siddharth Verma, is alleged to raid private hospitals after which he takes bribes through his staffs. In the video, a person was seen negotiating the amount of bribe where the officer was threatening to stop practice of Rs 30,000 was not paid. The Naga Students Union, Delhi, will be celebrating its Diamond Jubilee on November 11th and the 12th under the theme Rekindling the Flame of Naga Unity at Talkatora Stadium President's Estate, New Delhi. Deputy Chief Minister of Nagaland, T.R. Zilling, will attend the event as the chief guest. Ino Kashim Vasum, Minister for Veterinary and AH Transport, Government of Manipur as guest of honour. MLA Achumbe Mokikon and the guest speaker and MP Lok Sabha Dr. Loro S. Fosey as the functional president. The program will be attended by ministers and MLAs from Nagaland, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh. The guest includes Awangbo Niume, Minister for Water Resource and Relief and Disaster Management, Government of Manipur, Laisam Simai, MLA and Advisor Tourism, IPR and Printing, Government of Arunachal Pradesh, Lei Shio Keshing, MLA Manipur, Ramganing Muiva, MLA Manipur, Losa Diko, MLA Manipur, and J. Kumar Shah, MLA Manipur. The Jubilee celebrations will also witness exciting performances from renowned artists from northeastern states. Dreams Unlimited, the renowned theatre and film production house, the famous rock band, GMP, the band along with other artists like Shell Don, Vinika Yepto, Girl Crush, Au Naga Koyer, The How, etc., will be performing during the event. The NSUD hopes to Naga culture, traditional heritages and unity through the celebration. Amid Israel Hamas war, at least 15 soldiers were killed fighting inside the Gaza Strip on November 1. The troops who were there to eliminate the Hamas terror group laid their lives during the ground invasion. Israeli forces continued to attack targets by land and air overnight, killing dozens of members of the terror group. Among 15 soldiers, an Indian origin soldier staff, SGT, Halel Solomon, was also killed in Hamas attack. 20-year-old Halel Solomon, a resident of Israel's Dimona, was from Jivati Infantry Brigade's Zabir Battalion. The incident took place when a Neymar armored personnel carrier they were in was hit by an anti-tank guided missile. The casualty toll underlined the threat soldiers are facing after weeks of punishing air campaign. Israeli tanks have been active inside Gaza for at least four days following Hamas attack on October 7. At least 8,525 people have been killed in Israel attacks since October 7, said Gaza Health Authorities. That's all for we have for this bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV.